Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how we can model like this modern mosque with rivet. Uh, so uh, here I'm uh, in just rivet and open a new file. Before I, I start, I want to analyze some uh, thing. Uh, we have these uh, walls like this, and this is a dome, and this is a dome and uh, an arced wall, which is maybe inclined. Uh, so let's start model this one. I'm going to uh, use sweep for this uh, model because m uh, uh, sweep is better. Uh, than mass in place. Uh, but before I, I start, I want to make two reference planes. Like this. This one, name it uh, maybe x-axis. And this one, y-axis. Like this. And after that, uh, from architecture, uh, component, model in place, and generic model. Let's name it DOM. OK. And uh, as I said, I'm going to use sweep. It sweep works with two things, path and uh, profile. So just let me first select path. And you see here, uh, from circle, because I have uh, a circle one. Uh, as you see, it's uh, in millimeters, so just let me change the unit, so uh, UN for unit. And from here, choose meter to decimal, maybe is okay. Okay, and okay. Yes. It's like this, and uh, let's say 20 meters. Uh, skip two times, and this bring it parallel with x-axis. So now I finished my path, so just click finish edit mode and go to profile and edit profile. Uh, I want to look at it from the south. Okay. As you see, it's like this. Uh, so I want to draw a line. I can bring a line from here. Not here, the intersection, yes, the intersection. And uh, give it a height of 20. And after that, 20. And again here, I want to make a line with 20 again. And just draw an arc from this point to this point with 90 degree. It's that now I don't need all these lines. Uh, I can draw a line, another line here, maybe two meters. Sorry. From this point, maybe two meters. Yes, it's okay now. So we have this point, and I'm going to use an arc from this point to that point and make like this. And delete this line now. Now I have this shape which represents uh, one side from here, which is uh, like this, okay? Uh, so just uh, let me give it an offset because it, it has some thickness here, as you see. And so peak line and offset maybe 0.3, uh, which is 30 centimeters. Just zoom it a bit, yes, like this and like this. Yes, like this, and after that, close these lines. And for the top again, uh, just click finish and finish again. We have uh, this problem. Uh, don't worry about it. Just cancel and edit profile and edit sketch. And just bring this a little bit to the right side and just click OK and finish. Now we have this dome shape. Just go change to realize. 
just realistic. Now we have this shape. So and just click finish model. Now we finished this model and we want to model this this wall again. This wall and this voice, these curtain walls, how we can uh, do this. It's just breezy. Uh, I'm going to uh, copy this one and paste it here. You can you can make this one with a void, and after that, uh, this void uh, turn to another module and make it a, a curtain panel or a curtain system. So it's the same way. Just click here and uh, copy from here. Click here and uh, align to the same place. And now just click one of them and edit in place. I want to uh, edit it, but before I edit, I want to make an, an extrusion. Why I make this? Just click finish and from the just make it like this. Why this one? Um, I would want to just select faces from from this model. Okay, so uh, from here. Uh, what I have, I have edit sweep and let's say from this side, uh, I want to edit profile and edit sketch. As you see, I want to uh, bring it out these this lines to outside. So just pick a line and offset maybe 0.3, just like this. Here again, no, uh, the same thing. Yes, it's like this. So trim and extend from this line to this line, from this to that, this to this, and this to this, again, and delete these lines, interior lines. Now what I have, just click finish and finish again. I have two models, as you see, two models, which is one of them is large and another is smaller than it. And I want to, sorry, just let me bring it up here. And I can move these, yes. Uh, so let's go to a front view uh, so we can make our void. So uh, we are here and uh, from create and create a void, void by extrusion. Uh, what I have, I have something, it's, uh, this is an arc. Okay, so yes, this is an arc, it's a slight arc. So uh, just let me, as you see, I cannot draw anything because I don't set any plane to work with it. So pick a plane, okay. Uh, just roll over the mouse without clicking and tap. Now uh, we have this uh, selection, you, you see? Just click it here and now I can uh, draw my void. Just like this, yes. I drew this line, so I want to go here with a straight line. Sorry. And after that, with an arc again, maybe here, small arc, and here. And again, this. I'll reach here, here. Yes, again, this is an arc. So just select arc and select this point, arc again, and this may be an arc, and just close it with this. As you see, I think is the shape is now is correct, or whatever you want, you can make it, no problem. Just escape two times. Just let me bring it to the right side a little bit. Maybe like this better. Uh, yes. 
or maybe this one also I can adjust anything that I want things again for the right side I think now is much better uh, and just click finish uh, so from 3d just select it and bring it out this this way if I click finish model you see I have nothing uh, to do it uh, so I'm selecting cut and select outer and after that select void as you see now I have this shape just click finish I have this shape you see so I have uh, this one I don't need it anymore so it is in place and select it and delete it finish model so what I have I have two things now I have this one and I have interior one so just let me move it uh, for something about maybe 60 meters now uh, what I can do I can make this one uh, curtain system and I can select and create curtain system create curtain system the problem that we have uh, don't worry we can make it uh, this later just let me uh, finish my model first uh, what I have now I have uh, these walls again I can do it how can I do these walls and uh, just let me go to yeah and maybe site plan just bring it this axis out of it yes it's like this so I want to a distance from uh, this point to 10 meters uh, as we said it is 20 uh, so what I have now from architecture uh, maybe I am choosing wall but uh, what I'm going to do it uh, I'm going to model roof roof by extrusion and pick a plane uh, let's say I have no plane uh, for selection so again I want to make an extrusion just let me make a component I'm sorry uh, model in place <coughs> sorry generic model okay okay just a small extrusion so I can get the planes from it and finish from 3d what I have now I can bring it up so now uh, finish model uh, as I said we can use roof roof by extrusion and pick a plane okay just tap tap we have this uh, plane uh, if we select this one just let me select this one and uh, align to level one okay so what I have now sorry what I have now I have to uh, draw this arc if we look at from this uh, maybe this or uh, this arc and this one's an arc 
Okay, so we can we can model uh, from the center maybe is about 30 or 30 maybe is okay. Yes, 30 is okay. Just with a slight arc from here. A slight arc and after that maybe this arc go a little bit like this okay just finished and as you see I'm sorry I, I have to delete this line so edit profile and I, I don't need I'm sorry just click it and delete this line just finish you see now we have this line so I can move it in this way and this way again so I have this this line maybe I can bring it down a little bit a little bit more so again edit profile from front view don't need to just bring it down And bring this point this point up take it to the right and maybe the one, this one yes if it's if it's okay otherwise we can't make like this like this as we want we can bring it this sorry close we can again change this radius so let's see this okay or not yes I think it's this is okay it's just a tutorial you, you can make uh, anything you want or just let me create another one maybe like this and we can delete this one now again if we are going to click here and here like this and delete this one maybe this one is much nicer yes you see it from this side yes now uh, i think it's okay uh, i think it's okay it's uh, we have to cut this shape out how we can make it it's pretty easy uh, you can just go to model component model in place generic model okay and um, avoid void by extrusion and uh, let's say set a plane pick a plane okay I want to use this plane yes and now I can draw my void yes, it's like this and after that the first uh, yes one to another side
get this in this form maybe we can change it it doesn't matter and change the mode up we can change this all if we want yeah uh, excuse me the tutorial and just for learning learning this one so we get this world we can after that select the world and mirror For uh, the thickness, you can click into late and select this this one. Maybe you can run this. Select into this one. Maybe this one. Anyhow, it's not not a problem. You can change this any. So, uh, sorry for this uh, sound problem. Now I think the uh, sound is okay. Uh, so, now we can change at any time we want. We can make extrusion, change it, or we can edit extrusion and we can edit profile at any time we want. It doesn't matter. So, okay. I think now it's okay. Finish. We can make a copy here from the top for another one. Just copy it from this point, uh, or uh, just because it's not not the same thing. And uh, just let me draw another one. So from the top view again. From structure roof roof by extrusion pick a plane okay this plane yes align to level one okay so what I have I want to go to front view maybe just let me yes it's just one arc or let me look at the video uh, photos yes it's just an arc i think it's okay uh, so again i want to from this point maybe this time 20 uh, 40 is okay yes and after that an arc maybe arc till here and make like this yes uh, i want to delete this one and from here i have this type of roof i can change uh, again this uh, thickness so from edit and uh, point 0.3 maybe make point 0.5 maybe is okay and for the material let's just change to concrete click here and uh, for concrete where's concrete yes this concrete yeah okay and okay apply and Okay, so just click finish and I think now we have this concrete. And go to top view maybe from here and to here. Maybe it's like this. And you can again you can you can change uh, this if you want to this edge sharp edge or we want you want to like this i think if it's like this doesn't need anything else but if you want to be like this you can make a void as just as before so uh, what we have now we have uh, from here i'm just one i just want to i can delete this one uh, or select these two and make a mirror so as to be the same distance between the two 
yes it's just like this I think now uh, everything is okay and this one again we can change uh, the material to uh, concrete how we can make it not for the end of this one maybe I think I s yes this one how we can change the material so we did in place we have void and uh, if we just select this one and filter we have generic void and generic model so we want to adjust model and okay from here uh, material we can click uh, the concrete and finish just like this i think I moved something so I don't need like yes just click here and it is in place uh, select everything filter uh, I don't want to avoid apply okay I just went to the model and again from here uh, choose concrete maybe this one this time and okay so now you have uh, this type of uh, concrete this walls again what we have now we have uh, these curtain walls how we can make it again I think it's pretty simple uh, just before everything just let me go to profile wireframe I don't want to save it for now and go to here just let me uh, sorry also just maybe move move this one if we could yes uh, yes we because we, we make this inside the, one of the models so we cannot move it no, no problem uh, now I want to again I want to uh, draw a roof so architecture roof by extrusion pick a plane okay maybe this one yes Mm, from the level one okay so let me draw an arc maybe this one or not just let me try out this one and change to realistic and bring this here and again till here just let cut out this one uh, for this extra don't worry we uh, later we will make a void for this here we have this one and now I can uh, select slope glazing as uh, like this and from edit model and uh, from grid 1 and grid 2 just change layout to fixed distance f for this one and for this one again uh, just let maybe 0.75 and put by 0.75 and apply ok yes think is okay but I have to make a little bit mm, larger so click here uh, edit type maybe 1.2 by 1.2 apply okay again I have to uh, make some make it bigger maybe 2 by 2 and I can make the millions again also so click here edit type maybe 2 meters by 2 meters and grid million maybe put it this uh, secure 30 millimeters yes for all of them 
Maybe apply. And okay. Yes, I think now is better. Uh, what can I do now? I can make a, a, a model and uh, with the void again. So component model in place. Uh, generic model. Okay. Uh, void void by extrusion. Pick line maybe. Pick this line. This line. I'm sorry, just I want to have to uh, set a plane first. Uh, pick a plane, okay. I want to pick this plane and after that, pick lines. Maybe this line. And this line also. Yes, I think now we are. We have everything, so just close these two lines. It's just like this and to finish. After that from 3D, bring it in this inside. And cut this wall to that void. Delete elements, no problem. Yes, as you see, we have this kind of rounded shape. This one, I think, is, is a very good. Or we can just click the click here and just we picked uh, out outer lines. You can pick these lines, or just we can move it these uh, models a little bit. Cannot move it because we made with another. No problem. Just click this one and bring it on this side a little bit, maybe. We can edit profile at any time or anything we want. We can make it. No problem. Yes, I think now is okay. Again. We can make this one for the this side again. So again, what we have, we have uh, architecture roof by extrusion. Uh, pick a plane. Okay, our plane is here. Yes, level one. Okay, go to here. I'm sorry. Go to. A left view and make sorry make an arc like this and delete this one just finish from top view You can bring this one here, just to the outside, and to the here to somewhere that it's yes. I think now is okay. Or I have to bring it to the right side a little bit. Again, uh, sloped glazing, just like before, just just like this one so again what we have we have to make a void so architecture component model in place generic model we can name it as a void or we can leave it as it is okay so void form void by extrusion and pick a plane but before we pick a plane we set a plane so pick a plane okay here this plane we have after that pick lines we have this line and these inside lines so now make a 
closed line like this and also we have to close this these two lines just click finish as you see here we have this void I'm sorry cancel just click here and make a void like this extend it and after that what we have to do we have to cut this one so just select this one and select the void so delete elements uh, no problem so we have this one yes I think just we have to edit this one a little bit because it's not this uh, it's not the same line maybe this one yes yes it's exactly like this it's not with the same line and they are not on the same line sorry so I have this uh, mo uh, this module and I can what I can do I can click this one and click this one I'm sorry this one or again I can delete these two delete them and I have to uh, I can select these and make mirror so as to be the same distance for all of them wait a little bit uh, maybe we can delete elements no problem as you see it's like this I think uh, our uh, X is not correct was not correct so delete this one again go to go back to the top view and select this one draw an axis maybe from here maybe this time is okay delete elements no problem yes I think it's now is okay so we can get this kind of shape and just now we can delete this one we don't uh, need anymore uh, this one so as you see we could model uh, this kind of beautiful mask here in rabbit again as i said uh, you can make this one sharp we can you can make a void like this and after that you can you can cut this because i think uh, now it's uh, like this one yeah, uh, we have an, uh, another void on top. We have to make it for this one. Just let me so let me make it for this one. So it is in place. And go to top view. I don't know why I, why I delete my void extrusion. I need I need a plane to select it the face. So just um, let me make an extrusion again, just for taking. Oh, sorry, just click here and click, click extrusion. I have no uh, plane to to set. So click. Uh, just let me go back. Yes. So just go to. Uh, go back to obtain this plane. I just did this one. No problem. Just again copy it or redo Delete elements no problem and For now as we said here yeah, and it did in place uh, So I want to make a void void by extrusion uh, we have a circle so first I have to set a plane pick a plane okay so this plane and I want to make a void um, sorry I have to select yes, maybe this one okay mm, 
Now I select this one and bring it to the top and bring it to the down. Cut this one to that one. Yes. Finish. I think now it's exactly like like uh, this one. So we have no problem with it. And this one we don't need any more. So I have this, uh, this one is useful for you. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.